Hello, so this is, as you can see, the third day of confinement. The monsters are right behind me. They are leaving dead now, so they can record this video. So I promised you, uh, for all uh, you who are working now from home, who are, who are not used to it, uh, that today we were going, I, I thought I would do it yesterday, but I had a little bit of work to do, uh, they will talk about time management. Time management is something quite tough uh, to do when you're working from home because you get the feeling that uh, you have more time, that you have more freedom, that you are not locked inside the, 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 the barriers, the, 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 the walls of the organization, but you still need to be extremely well organized when time comes. Uh, if, if, if I may give you my example, as you know, I, I'm working from home for more than 10 years now, so uh, I've tried a lot of things. Uh, when, for example, I, I have to to go like, like I did during the last couple of months, I'm training um, 14 people to become ethical community managers using ethical persuasion and the ethical persuasion system and all the social networks and so on. Uh, so by the way, if you need some training on social networks, let me know. So yes, uh, I had to give these trainings, uh, which are still going on by the way, I had to, to wake up every day around five, something like that, to walk half an hour, 40 minutes to get the bus, then going to the bus and so on and so on. So, I could spare that time now that I'm working from home. I no more need to walk for 30, 40 minutes to get to the bus. I don't have the one hour bus ride to get to where the training was given and the same thing back on the way back. But I've decided to keep that time. So I'm keeping that time and I keep my walk because, uh, now, I mean, now we are, we are supposed to say at home, at least in France, we have that uh, little document that we have to carry on us when we walk the dogs. So I still keep my walking time and walk my dogs during that same time. So I keep that activity that I do some, at least something because I can no more go do mountain biking or horseback riding or stuff like that. So I still have some activity to keep oxygen flowing to my brain. So my time is locked on that. And then I'm back very early around the 6.37 or so, so I can still work very densely for two, three hours till the kids wake up. Well, yes, we have decided to let the kids sleep because, you know, even though they are at school, they are young, uh, nine and, and six for the youngest and, and 14 for, for the oldest, but he is running on automatic, so to say. Uh, and the little ones, then we do some school work and then we let them play so we can work again because my wife also works from home. She's also used to that. Uh, and then the life goes on and we still pack our X hours of work in there. And that's because we have a very strict agenda. We know that from that time to that time and so on. And we can vary those slots. It's not one big chunk of four to five hours that we know we are not going to get. And you may not even get itself. So make sure that you understand that. But we have small chunks in which we organize our time so that at the end of the day, we pack our eight, nine, ten hours of work. Yeah, because that's what being an entrepreneur is about, right? So that's the deal. Make sure that you work as much as you would from the office. Make sure that that time is somehow spread around the 24 hours that there are in one day. I mean, if you think about it, uh, there are 24 hours in the day. Usually people work 8 to 10 hours a day, uh, less in some countries. So that leaves a lot of time to play around with. So you have that opportunity. Make sure that you are still on time for every one of your meetings. You have to be on time. That's the least that you can do. And yeah, keep in touch with your colleagues. Use time for that. Uh, and, and you will see though the talks you are going to have nowadays are very social, very human calls. It's, it's from one primal brain to the next primal brain. We need to become human beings again, not co-workers or machines or whatever. We have to become humans again. That means that when you schedule a 15 minutes call, that call may last 30 minutes, maybe one hour. Keep that in mind. I mean, I'm currently working with, uh, I have four interns for the, the, that new activity that we're going to launch in a few days. That will be a blast. So uh, I, I know we schedule one hour for, for a meeting, Every, twice a day or something like that because there are, there's are interns I have to, to make sure that they that they learn something uh, but I know that we are going to talk way more it's not about only work it's just about you know having five people talking together you know having some social environment so that's important too so 
Stick to your agenda, make it flexible, make sure that you put all the hours in there that you need to work to make your job run smoothly. Keep time for yourself. It's not because you're at home that you should work way more in your agenda. You have to keep time for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones. Anyway, they are at home with you, so you will hear them. So don't be pissed because you are wasting 10 minutes talking with your child or, or having a conversation with your, with your wife, with your husband, whoever. Enjoy that time and use those 10 minutes at another time, at another part of the day. So that's it. That's about time management. I feel that tomorrow uh, I will try to make a video about ergonomics because we are going to spend, it seems that at the moment, for example, in France, we are looking for 15 days and they may announce today 15 more days and we may go up to 45 days and even more. So uh, there may be some murders happening on the way, but no. But that means also that, uh, yes, uh, you have to have some ergonomics uh, where you are working. So we may talk about that tomorrow. So till then, I wish you to take care, stay safe, stay at home, because that's the way to protect ourselves. It's not only protecting the other people, it's protecting you and the, the people you love. So be self-centered, protect yourself. Uh, guys, that's it for today. If you want to have a chat, if you want to talk about the worldwide conference I'm trying, virtual one, I'm trying to organize to rethink the future of, of, of work, of, of the planet, of uh, being ethical and so on, give me a, give, drop me a line. The videos are on my, um, on my post feed. So I'm looking forward to talk to you and let's stay in touch. Cheers.